Hey everyone, Kavan here. Today I want to talk about how I use a Twitter growth tool called HypeFerry to help me grow my Twitter audience, but also keeping me sane. So first of all, um, a lot of people come to me all the time and they have this Twitter burnout or even you know blank out when they go on Twitter because they just don't know what to share. And for me, I think it's because they don't capture their ideas right away. So let me just first talk about how we can jot down our ideas. Um, it's kind of like catching a bird. If you just sit down trying to write your tweets, it never happens, like they kind of fly away. Uh, because if you don't catch the idea right away, um, they will not stick in your mind because we have so many things going on day by day, right? So what I do is actually I break the whole tweet writing process into four different steps. The first one, taking ideas down, which happen any time of the day. And then I outline, write, edit, and schedule them. So let me just talk about taking down ideas. Um, I try to stay very simple. So I use a notion table to save down all the ideas. And maybe I would be going to the bathroom, going for a walk, or taking a shower. And then I have this awesome idea that I want to tweet. I don't go on Twitter to tweet right away, but I actually type it down and I automate it to go into my Notion table. So I have this whole list um, ready to go. And next, I use Hype Fairy to actually help me focus on the further steps like outlining, writing, and editing. So I have a quick video here to show you how it works. So on the left, I have the Notion, right? I have the table, so I click in to get one idea. And then on the other hand, I have Hype Fairy open up. So I can just like start expanding on the idea and really focus on how I want to story tell that tweet. Um, okay, so that was kind of one way I use Hype Fairy because I never just sit down and write tweets because I find it to be very inefficient. But once I have all the ideas down, I basically just spend two hours, maybe one hour, uh, every Monday morning and I would write all the tweets and I'm ready to go for the rest of the week I don't even need to think about creating tweets, but there are also other hype fairy features that I like so let's take a look at my account here So here's my account and I like this queue a lot because it's very clear what I'm about to send out so I am able to have some tweets that I just you know expanded on from my notion table um, but also Hype Fairy allows us to define some categories under recurring posts. So I have like entrepreneurship, interacting in public, and I can slot in at certain times of the week and say, hey, at that time, grab one tweet from this category. So, and then you can see on Monday, I have storytelling in public. And you might notice sometimes I have this evergreen slot so this is another Hype Fairy feature that I like to use, which is I can basically uh, pick some of the posts that do really well in the past and save them as evergreen. And then whenever this slot happens, it will just grab one of those and resurface it again by retweeting it. So I, I like it a lot because it means that I can basically create content, but save everything on Hype Fairy and then reuse them over time. And obviously, no one's gonna see all your content, so it's very important to reuse some of them uh, maybe in a few months or even in a few weeks, that's okay. So this is how I use Hype Fairy. Um, the reason why I call this presentation Keeping Me Sane is because a lot of people get burned out because they're always thinking, what should I post, what should I post? But to me, um, because one, I'm scheduling my tweets. Second of all, I am creating this database of content. I, I think I have like hundreds of tweets now and they know what to do. They, they get out at the right time. So basically I'm building, I'm compiling this library over time. So I'm keeping myself sane. I'm not going on Twitter all the time. I hope this quick video, um, you will find it useful. And yeah, I'll see you at another time. See you, bye-bye.